So, fingers crossed. We'll see how things go today. I'm nervous. <laughs> guys welcome back to another vlog so today is what is the day today wednesday the 14th of november which is you're gonna hear me say this a lot especially because we're like nearly at the end of the year but i can't believe how quick the time is going we're pretty much halfway through november at this point which is it's nearly a month till christmas which is crazy um but yeah man time is going so quick yet slow at the same time but anyways today is yeah wednesday the 14th of november um i'm currently sitting in my favorite spot once again i don't know why but just this little spot on my stairs it's just i always sit here i feel like i look blurry i don't know if my eyesight is just going bad or if it's me or if it's my camera but anyways little update i cut my hair you guys probably wouldn't be able to tell but um yes i cut my hair yesterday this is how it looks the day after i have not styled my hair this morning i didn't do anything to it this is purely just how it looks after getting it cut and blown out yesterday so i'm kind of milking this for as long as i can but yes i just randomly decided to go and get my hair cut and i'm so glad i did you probably can't even really tell the difference because my hair was really long it was all the way down to my butt and like lower than my belly button i didn't have many layers going on everything had grown out i hadn't had a haircut since the beginning of the year and we're already at the end of the year and i felt like my ends were getting just a little bit dry so i went in i told her that i just wanted her to cut off all the dry ends and to give me like a whole heap of layers and that's what she did she just gave me a ton of layers i was thinking about going shorter but um for now i'll just leave it as is if i want to go shorter i can always go shorter so yeah it kind of just comes like it's still long and i feel like the layers make it look really long as well anyways right now i am actually gonna head out and go and get myself some breakfast because i haven't had breakfast it's already 10 30 this morning i woke up i was just cleaning doing laundry house maintenance housework adult domestic kind of things so yeah that's pretty much what i've been doing this morning and now it is time for me to go and feed myself so i'm just gonna grab my things and go you guys are gonna come along with me <laughs> car that i get for myself has to be like a big car because i am sick of driving in this slow car but anyways um do i have everything i feel like i'm forgetting something i'm the type of person like whenever i leave the house i always feel like i'm forgetting something nine times out of ten i am a few moments later i drove all the way here just to get be making anything new i guess you could say and i get bored of the same thing like i can't eat the same thing over and over again for a week i need to have like some variety and i feel like lately i haven't had that so i definitely need to like 
write up a list, come up with some new like recipes, things that I want to make, that kind of thing to get me motivated into like doing that. But right now it is currently 11.50 and I'm going to head home. It looks like it's going to rain, which I'm not too happy about because I did laundry this morning. I did a whole bunch of laundry. And if it rains, I'm going to be pissed. Not really, like I'm not going to do anything about it, but you know, it's just frustrating when you do all your laundry and then it rains because I don't know about you guys, but I can't just leave that shit out to air dry. If it rains, we got to wash all the laundry again. I kind of feel like I'm still hungry. I don't know, that bowl was filling, but yeah, I feel like I want more of like something else. Like I need something savory. It's weird. Whenever I have a meal that's sweet, I need something savory to like top it off. Whenever I have a meal that's savory, I need something sweet afterwards. All the time I'm like that. Like I need to break up my taste buds. from a nap i hadn't intended to take a nap today but i don't know what happened i laid down after i got home and i was like okay let me just take like a quick 30 minute power nap and i woke up an hour later i think i have one more load of washi left to hang out the sun is still out which is good so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now i feel like i'm forever doing laundry i still need to fix these i don't know why but these are all fallen down I'd hung them up on the ceiling with this, like these little sticky tabs. But for some reason, they just keep falling down and it's so annoying. I don't know if they're just not sticky enough. They can't hold up the lights, but it's annoying me. So I gotta do that at some point. This is what today looks like, by the way. The sun is out, but it's cloudy. I can feel that my hair is starting to feel greasy, so I'm definitely gonna have to give it a wash tonight. But it is almost 3 p.m. I am gonna head out I think it's hot it's really hot today but I need to go out and run some errands real quick so that's what I'm gonna do I feel like today's been a very weird day for me it's been productive so far but I had a nap I wasn't supposed to nap because I need to wake up really early tomorrow morning for work I actually have to go to bed super early tonight as well so um yeah I don't know I feel like I'm all over the place right now Oh, it's hot today. Alright guys, quick grocery haul. This is what I got. I ended up going to the grocery store because I need to make myself some dinner, obviously. Salad. I don't know, I was just craving something like cold and fresh. So I bought myself some salad. 
and I don't know why, but lately I've been really, this is so random, but I've been craving mac and cheese, even though I haven't had like legit mac and cheese. I feel like that's such an American thing, but I just got this stuff because that's what we got over here. I also got myself a protein bar. Not that this is going to do much, but for right now, I just, I was craving it. And some tea because I'm thirsty right now. Like really thirsty. Alrighty. Oh yeah, the, the main reason why I went out was because I needed some translucent powder. Like I completely hit pan on mine, but they didn't have any of the pressed one. They only had the loose one. I paid $3 for this. I don't know if there was something wrong with it, but when I scanned it, usually it's $15, but when I scanned it, it said $3. So I was like, okay. Anyways, somebody's in their car next to me watching me. So we're just going to be on our way. Good morning guys, I am a bad vlogger and I didn't finish the vlog, not yesterday, but the day before because it's actually Friday today. Um, so we're going to skip a day, continue on with the vlog today. So it's now Friday the 16th of November, it is currently 9.26 in the morning. I'm just sitting in my living room editing the first part of this vlog while I wait because I have an orthodontist appointment at 10.20 this morning, still about an hour to go. So. I'll leave for that soon. I think this is going to be my last visit to the orthodontist for the year. I'm kind of nervous because I, I, like I'm sure a lot of you guys know that I've had my braces on now for almost two years and I was hoping to get them off before the two year mark. So that's what my plan is for this morning is to go to my orthodontist appointment. I think I'm going to go to the mall because I want to have a look at a pair of shoes. I need new shoes for the gym, just like more flat kind of shoes. And then I also have to go grocery shopping today. So that's what my plan is for today. I apologize that I'm putting two days together. I do actually prefer to do my vlogs like separate day by day, but I didn't finish vlogging the other day and I didn't want to waste the footage. So I think this is going to be an extra long vlog and I hope you guys don't mind. All right guys, we made it. I'm about to go in. I'm really hungry. But if you've watched any of my other like braces vlogs, I don't like to eat before my appointments because I don't want to have food stuck in my teeth. So I made sure that I brushed my teeth really well. I flushed them, brushed them, and they should be good for my orthodontist. So fingers crossed. We'll see how things go today. I'm nervous for once. <laughs> you know when you don't get your hopes up for something, but then like it goes the way that you expect it, like it goes to the worst outcome. But you're still upset about it. That's how I feel right now. So I just finished with my orthodontist appointment. And we were just having a talk about how things are moving along. And how um, my smile is looking. How my gaps are closing. And basically, um, I won't be getting my braces off at the two year mark. Which sucks. And because of the way things are moving, like they're moving really slow. Like, ideally... She would like to be seeing things move like like two millimeters of movement per visit but mine's like half a millimeter of movement per visit so I'm not even like getting half the amount of movement that I should so I have to go back in um, five weeks like she's gonna try and get me to go in more regularly I don't know, like to try and speed up the process. Um, I don't know. I don't feel. I just feel super disappointed in myself. Like I know, I know I can't control like how quickly my teeth move, and I can't. I have no control over like how the treatment goes. But um, it's just like, bitch, why your teeth gotta move slow for? I know it'll all be worth it in the end, but it's just like, man, I'm just kind of over it. Anyways, I need to go and get myself something to eat, I guess. Because I haven't eaten breakfast. At least after that adjustment, my teeth feel nice and tight. I always like that feeling after I get an adjustment is when my like mouth feels like together, if that makes sense. If you've had braces, then you know what I mean. Ah, I don't want to let this like upset me for the day.
three hours later. So I'm back home now, as you would have seen. I went to the mall to go get something to eat, and I also went and got the um, the spare bulb for my headlight in my car. I was gonna put it in right now, but it's really hot outside. And because I've been driving around, my engine is hot as well. So I just don't want to be in amongst that at the moment. I need to just like sit inside and cool down for a bit. I'm trying to be like in a good mood right now. But um, my way of like not thinking about things is to keep myself busy. So I'm currently just editing a vlog. And I'm probably going to go ahead and start editing a tutorial as well. I'm like super upset about... <sighs> what my orthodontist told me this morning. It's hard to explain because I've never felt unconfident with my braces. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry right now. I don't wanna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I've never felt unconfident with my braces, but after this morning, <sighs> just makes me upset. <laughs> it's stupid. It's so stupid. Even though I'd set myself up for disappointment and I knew that I probably wasn't going to be getting them off in February at the two year mark, I still like, yeah, it's dumb. Like I set myself up for disappointment so I don't get disappointed but then there's like a little part of me that has like some faith and hope that things will go the way that I want them to. <sighs> so when they don't, I'm still disappointed which is stupid. I just like... I need a hug right now. I need someone to give me a hug. I think my car has cooled down a little bit, so I need to do what I'm not looking forward to, which is changing the light bulb. So let's see if I can actually do this. I don't think I can like film me doing this because I gotta be careful, like I can't touch the the globe with my fingers. I don't know, it's just a thing, like you're not supposed to touch the the bulb because it can make it blow quicker like if you get the oils from your fingers onto it so um let me try and do this fingers crossed this is gonna work if it doesn't i'm gonna be upset <laughs> i already took this out this is the little i don't even know what these are called guys but i just, i watched a video so i know how to do this i don't know why my headlight always blows it's always on this side too i'm not sure why so yes this is the old one as you can see it doesn't look very good. Let me just put that there. Stay there. I gotta put the new bulb into here. Insert it back into here. And it's so difficult because it's in like a tight spot. Make sure that it's sitting right in the actual headlight thing. And then I gotta clamp it back into place with this thing in here. If you can see that little silver thing that's like flying around. That's like the little thing that clamps it into place so it doesn't move. So... Let me do this. the hard part because I can't get this thing to like clip into place. I finally got it into place. I'm gonna plug it into this thing. Oh my goodness, I can't see. Alright, I don't know where I put the the cover. There's like a cover that goes over this. I'll find it in a sec but I just want to see if this is gonna turn on or whether I have to go out and find another solution. I found the cover. I'm supposed to put this on first. Make sure that no water or anything gets in there. Yep. Okay. And then we can plug this in. Alright, let's see. Please. Nice and bright. I need to wash my car. This one's good too. Awesome.